So the Friends of the Library have been having book sales since the beginning of the Friends. The Friends do this all over the country. This year we've had two sales. After the pandemic, people really felt deprived that they couldn't come here. All our books are a dollar or two dollars, you know, <laughs> and a few, a few specially specials. priced. Right, yeah. right, right, right. All books that you see here are donated by the community. And um, some from the library as they uh, turn over their uh, collection, um, they pass their um, recycled books on to us so that we can use them. So the friends gather all these, we sort them according to genre, mm -hmm. so people can look for specific things. We have a whole group of volunteers that help us with this. Um, it takes a lot of people to pull off a book sale like this from sorting our donations when they first come in, to getting this room set up and then staffing the sale. So grateful to the community for the donations and to the library for just being so accommodating. They are our best friends. <laughs> Um, so there were a lot of really fun sections. Um, I like the autobiographies and the comedy section a lot. There were some really good cartoons and a lot of the titles caught my eye. And also the fact that the books were $2 each made it really accessible, which was really nice because that was a great price for some of these books. Yeah, so I got this book called A Thousand Three Great Things About Getting Older. Um, I thought it would be a funny joke book to give to my parents for their birthday. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah. Um, the book sale is very dangerous. Oh, yeah. It's really dangerous yes. okay. if, if you're a... Uh, um, a bibliophile, right. then um, it's a dangerous place to come. Yeah, um, yeah. But we're um, buying things for grandkids, oh, that's so, so that makes it a little easier to think of getting a classic like *The Very Hungry Caterpillar*. Right, yeah. I also have more shelves, more books than shelves. So, right. so, <laughs> so, so this is this is this can get me in trouble. Um, but there's a few books, you know, you, you, you run across this, the thing that I used to uh, put my kid to sleep it with, okay? I don't know whether he will want it or not, or whether he has his own copy. And then, you know, I'm a statistician, and so, so there's a, there, you know, I find a book that's relevant to, to my profession. Okay. What do we get? Well, we got Thomas Hardy, Far From the Madden Crowd. We Why'd got, you get that? Because it's a classic, and I've never read any Thomas Hardy. And then The Politics of Pleasure, which is like conversations and dialogue with like academics and stuff about, I guess, the politics of pleasure. Yeah. American theocracy about like the rise of religious extremism in the US. And then this one's yours, right? Yeah, Team What's of Rivals, that about? classic. I've always meant to read that and never did. So here's a good opportunity. Yeah, I, right. That's awesome. And that's all I, want. I had a fantastic time. I came here yesterday and bought six books and today I bought five more books. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, this is my second time uh, coming here this semester and I'm pretty happy about, I mean, it's a pretty good bargain to buy all these books. Yeah. I'm very happy about all the variety of books offered here. Yeah, I, this was really, I saw it on Wenli's story um, and on her post and I was like, whoa, that's so cool. Um, so we went to the Earth Day like festival in Natick and then we came over here. So we're feeling really good about all of our like, you know, sustainable buys today. <laughs> I love the library and be able to check out books, but it's also nice to have your own sometimes. So it's nice to kind of get used books from other people and it's a great bargain as well. Yeah, definitely. So, I think it's really great to share books as a community. And so I'm happy to be here and get new books. Um, as you can see, I've got a big old stack of coffee table books here, which, you know, it's kind of up for debate whether or not you're allowed to say this. Um, but these will probably, um, end up kind of getting collaged by some of the collage club we have going on at, at Olin and Wellesley. So, you know, we're full of beautiful photographs, but they're all like locked up in the binding. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a razor blade and we're gonna free up those nice photographs. <laughs> and we're gonna, we're upcycling, right? We're upcycling. Yeah, upcycling. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm, I'm also gonna upcycle. So I'm gonna, they're beautiful watercolors and I have pretty paper back on campus and I'm gonna glue or tape them on and then um, probably give them to friends. It'll be really cute. That's awesome. Plato and the Platypus. <laughs> and it's like philosophy jokes, which I think is so funny. Anyway. That's great. That's all I had to ask you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys Thanks. for agreeing to it. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, of course. <laughs>